Thanks for joining me. Today, we're going to enable ImageMagick in MAMP. Now, MAMP is a desktop server for WordPress. You can use it to run an installation of WordPress on your local machine instead of on a real live server on the web. And MAMP is actually the most popular of the various desktop servers that are around. All we have to do to enable ImageMagick on MAMP is uncomment one line in the PHP INI file. We're what we're going to do by uncommenting that line is we're going to turn on the iMagic PHP extension, which in turn will talk to ImageMagick and make the whole thing work. We're not going to have to do a darn thing on the WordPress side because WordPress prefers ImageMagick in the first place, and if it's available, it'll just use it. Now, in my installation of MAMP, there are no fewer than 96 copies of PHP Any. So, our main task here is to make sure we're going to modify the correct one. So, we're going to open the MAMP's Web Start page from the MAMP interface. And at the top of the page in the top navigation, we're going to go to PHP Info. And that will open our PHP Info file. I'll turn on my highlighter, and if we count down six or seven items from the top, we come to Loaded Configuration File. And that's going to give us the path to our loaded PHP INI file. In our case, it's Applications, MAMP, and that'll be the same for everybody, bin, PHP, PHP 7.1.1, which is the version that I have running, and your mileage may vary, you may have a different version running, Cont for configuration, and PHP any. So let's go find that file. So here we are in the Macintosh's Finder, and we take, trace our path from Applications to MAMP to BIN to PHP to PHP 7.1.1 to the configuration files, and finally, to the PHP any file itself. So we found our PHP any file, the correct one, the one that's loaded. Let's just open it in a text editor, and I will use this one, it's Text Wrangler. Okay, so now we have to find the line that enables the iMagic extension. Now, in my PHP any file, here it is. It's at line 541, and we can see that it has a semicolon in front of it, which comments it out, and the line is extension equals imagemagic.so. You could also find this by searching for, I'm sorry, it's extension equals imagic.so, and you could find this line by searching for the word imagic. All we have to do is remove the semicolon to uncomment the line. There is our one single keystroke, and we resave the file. And we're almost done. We have to stop the servers in MAMP and restart them so that the PHP server will start and load our INI file. So here we go. We'll start servers. Servers are up and running. Now, let's see if we really have this thing working. One thing we can do is we can go back to PHP Info and reload it. And then scroll down and we'll see returns from all of our PHP extensions arranged in alphabetical order. And we get to I and we have iMagic. And there it is. It's telling us all kinds of stuff about our running instance of iMagic. And that's telling us that iMagic is loaded and ImageMagic should be active. Now, the real test is going to be seeing if ImageMagic is really working. So, let's do that. Let's go to our test site and let's upload a picture to it. Test image. There we go. We'll upload that to our media library on our test site and then we'll see what happens. Okay, now let's see if that worked. 
I'm just going to go and I'm going to navigate to my uploads folder in WordPress and we'll see what we've got. Okay, here we are in our WordPress uploads folder. Now, this is the folder that contains the actual files that are actually served on a WordPress site. And as we can see, we have our test image guy here. Now, before I started recording this video, I uploaded test image guy with GD enabled as the image processing library in WordPress. So let's see what we've got. Here is a GD created resized image of test image guy and no metadata whatsoever. It all got stripped off by GD. This is not exactly a surprise. This is the original image. Now, this is your original file, untouched, and of course, yes, it does have its metadata. And all of these smaller renditions are stripped clean. Now, here in the bottom row, we have test image guy as processed through image magic, if image magic is truly running on our test website. And yes, it is, and here's his metadata. We're good to go. No risk of getting sued on a random Tuesday afternoon for stripping copyright management information, and everything is great. Now, you could also test actually on your website or on your test website by placing an image in a post, downloading the image, and looking to see if the metadata is there. Do you want to do that? Sure. Let's go over to our test website, and we'll do just exactly that. All right, now we're at our test website. We'll add a new post. We'll call it test. We will go to our media library. We will insert a picture of test image guy, and we will make sure that it's a small rendition, that it's not the original full-size file. And there he is. We'll call a preview of that page. And he is there. We will save him down to our desktop. There. Now, we'll go into Photo Mechanic. And we'll look. Here's our image. And as you can see, it's a small rendition. This one over here is the original that we uploaded. So here's our small rendition that we just downloaded from an actual post served by WordPress and metadata is intact and ready to go. So once again, I'm Carl Seibert. If you have comments or suggestions or complaints, reach out in the comments or on Twitter or on LinkedIn and let me know what you're feeling. And until then, mind your metadata.